Okay, we're gonna draw poo. Now when I look at him, there's a round head, big round tummy, those are the main shapes. The head is, in a per is not a perfect circle, but it comes in in this angle. So, comes in in this angle. And the body's pretty much in a straight angle, but let's do the head. There's a round shape here, and then there's a round, smaller round shape over here. Okay, and so it comes down towards the corner, and there's a big cheek. Now, there's a V here, and there's going to be two angles here. Take that angle. That's the general shape of things up there. Now we see the head is connected to the body and it comes right through here. Okay, so how big is this tummy of his? Let's make it like this. You can see this goes around. We ignore the arm and the leg, it just comes around here. So probably, you kind of have to envision you just drop in the lines where you feel like it's going to be. And let's make sure that this comes out, his tummy comes out big enough. And then it starts to come in. And so we make corrections. We could be making corrections later too. But let's look at this right here. That's his head, and we come down, and it's almost, it comes down to about here. So let's see if that's equal to this. Now, we have a circle here. I think this head is going, the circle is going a little bit too high, because this circle here has a relationship with that one there, and so it might be just as big but not as high. In other words, I'm gonna bring it down to here, not here. And then it gets confusing, so let's get rid of some of the lines, and that's how artists are. We're always erasing and correcting, and that's what it is. It's a whole series of corrections. So we want this to connect right here because that's where the body is, and we're gonna draw the clothes over it. Right here, kinda of has a corner here, comes in, like that. Okay, so this looks okay, it looks like okay for now. Then, we're gonna draw in his shirt and stuff. I'm just making little points of reference for the clothing right now. Now, you have this arm. Okay, I have this arm here. There's an angle to it. Maybe it's a little bit like this. Okay, I'm adjusting it again. And it's not that long. So then um, we have his arm come out, nice and rounded. It's almost like an S right here, with a big top. Now, does his elbow come out a lot? No, it doesn't. It just comes out just a little bit. So his forearm, his forearm kind of expands this shape here, the arm shape right here is about the widest part. And then it starts converging. You see this? These two lines are starting to get closer together. Now, is this, this is a nice smooth line. 
nice curly line right here. So we'll just do that. Could be wrong, that's okay. But it's it's a point where we can work off of. So now does that arm look the right size? I mean, you could draw it perfectly, but if it's not the right size, it's going to be incorrect. So this hand is getting a little bit too big. So you see how I brought that in each time. And you, you're doing checks, like, you know, you, you look back and you see, is that arm too big, is that hand too big? Now there's going to be a, right around here it comes out of his wrist here, his shirt. It comes straight out first, and then it goes up. Okay, so we're just putting these little reference points here. Now you see this shirt coming out. It has a big uh, opening there, and then the end of the sleeve comes out here, which is just above this little flare out of the shirt. It comes out right about here. And it looks like a bell. See, it kind of has a bell shape to it and curves up. And then under a little bit down, the arm comes out. And now this one stays in back. So how long is the elbow? It looks kind of a little bit longer than the other one. This one is short. This one's a little bit longer. And then it comes down. It comes down and then the little fist is there. Okay. Now, is that correct? I don't know. I'll have to do other checks. This shirt will have to look like this it's a little big opening there you see that opening there comes in here this is like a big s there's some nuances in here Just making corrections based on little cues, extra cues, and there's a wrinkle there and a wrinkle this way, up and down. Now we can add in a little bit of the wrinkles so we know what's going on here. This is his arm here. From what it shows, it's a little bit narrower in his upper arm, and then the forearm gets big here, and that's Pooh. That's the way he is. This line comes in here, it comes in here. So I'm looking at relationships and stuff. And so it's all about erasing and then keep, keep practicing and then they'll become less and less. But the corrections become less and less. But there will always be corrections. Now you see how close this hand and this leg is coming out, it might be about right here. And so we see this shape, it's a curve. Everything's like, you can simplify it into curves or squares or things like that, so. Now how far does this come out? How long is this leg? That's the big thing. Well, you look at this leg, leg from heel to the top of the leg, it's about like this. So that's about the same as the height of the head. So we'll get this measurement down to this collar and you kinda figure it'll be about right here. And his heels there kinda pops up, his foot's is nice and broad, comes in. Now is that a circle or is it kind of squarish? It's a little bit squarish. And 
and then there's a line. This is basically breaks down to a straight line, so you kind of make it like this. Then you round off the corners. There's his little pad on his foot. That's important. That's what he walks on. I'm erasing this because this looks like a straight line there. Pretty much a straight line. So it's not it's not really, but it's more of a straight line than a curve. I the way I see it. But whatever helps you break these things down to simpler shapes. Okay, this is a nice curved line. Now he's full of nice curved lines. Too. Okay. So he's now look at his weight. What's it really resting on? It's all on this. And this isn't straight up, it's a little bit of an angle. Look at the space here. Where do I? I'm gonna round this out a little bit. Okay. So how far? Where does this come in? It's right under here, so it's about right about here. And it comes in on a slight angle. And then it ends a little bit higher than this. This foot is in front. So this one's in back. And it's, so if it's in back, it's a little bit higher. So what I mean is, it's about right here. So but all his weight's on here. And then where does this come out? You see it comes out, it probably comes out about right here. Okay. So that's rough. That foot might be too long. Let's bring that in. And we can take off this, take off this. Now let's get to the face. You see right here, from here to here, are his eyes. And it's about right here to here. And so you have his little eyes here. You want to space it out right. Spacing in the face is very important. And you drop the nose down. It's a little triangle. We have this midline here. We'll kind of, kind of follow that. And then the... Eyebrows are very important because it gives it a lot of personality. And you see when I put, put, drop these things in, everything's pretty much spaced out okay. I'm going to say the ear comes out about here. And that, sometimes it's guesswork. And then we we'll see how it looks once we add it in and take a look back. Now you see... This point and this point where the ear comes out of the head, it's narrower and then it bows out. So we want to make sure it bows out a little bit. How long is it? Well, it looks, it's got to go by eye on some things. And so that, I think, looks about right. This one might be a little bit small. Shape might be a little bit different. It comes to a point here. Comes out. And you can notice that there's different, very, there's varied uh, line weights. Erase. Some of those other lines, extraneous lines, extra lines. They served a purpose at one time and then we don't need them any longer. Now we want to put his big expressive smile here. I'm looking at the, uh, the uh, cheek and where the mouth ends. It's right about here. And I see where it ends in relation to the eye. And maybe it's a little bit up here. Just put that mark here. And this one ends up right here. How far does the mouth go down? It goes down about right here. And then we connect them. 
One big smiley face. The mouth isn't perfectly symmetrical, even on both sides. It looks like it's wider on this one side. And it's a round bottom. It's not really sharp. I had it too sharp. And his smile is very important. Now the nose, you can see there's a little shine here. When you shade it in, you just stay away from that area there. I'm doing this uh, pretty sketchy, so um, I won't fill it in. And right here, you always wanna leave a little highlight. Look at where they leave the highlight, the top of the eye. It's like just a little bean. And that's the highlight, so you can do that. Leave the highlight in the top right. And you can see some, you can add some touches here. There's a, uh, shadows showing that there's some dimension to the uh, ear. You could pronounce it, make it a little bit more pronounced in your drawing than is actually shown here. And from here, you can add shadows. You can do things like this. Notice the shadow there. There's a shadow under here. Whenever they think these lines converge, you know, there's a shadow, you make it dark and lighter, um, depending on, you know, what you see. And from here, you have it drawn, it's drafted. You make corrections now. Um, this eye, the curve goes in, this might go, actually, I think the eye goes further out, a little bit further out. So I'm doing touch-ups. Bring that shirt in a little bit. So you dart your eyes back and forth to compare, and um, you can tell if something's out of whack. So there's there's going to be things wrong with this. I think this space here is bigger, and so it's a problem with the drawing of the map. So he has a, the nose might be too big. Okay, so what I had, I had it converge too much like a V and it's more like a U, I think. And so that makes, that'll make the um, mouth drop lower. So the face is the most important part. And so that's close. I would say that's close. I, would, I wouldn't say it was perfect, but um, that's Winnie the Pooh. You can see, uh, you can add more shadows here. You can see there's a shadow here, but I don't think that's
that's going to play well uh, right now. So you can color it, you can uh, use colored pencils, or you can just have fun with it like this. Do it like this. I love drawing with pencil, black and white pencil. And that's it.